At Saddle Creek, uh, we've just celebrated our 50th anniversary. We started back in 1966. Well, we've been working with PeopleNet for over 10 years now. So our goals for using video intelligence, we, um, we wanted to accomplish three main things. We wanted to exonerate our drivers from fraudulent claims and, uh, and, and just in the world in general out there, everybody's looking for someone to sue. We wanted to change our driver behaviors through coaching and positive recognition and disciplinary actions where it's necessary. And we wanted to protect not only us, but the people on the road around us um, by, by being able to provide video intelligence that shows the actual incident as it occurred and, and not as a he said or she said incident. Well, we started looking at the program because we wanted to exonerate ourselves. We wanted to be able to protect our drivers and protect Saddle Creek Transportation. So we thought about the videos and we started looking at them. And we conducted a four month trial with two different systems and then we compared the systems and how well it worked and what worked best for our telematics that we were already using and for our fleet and for our drivers. And out of those two, we were able to choose PeopleNet as the provider that we would want to use going forward. We are very concerned about driver acceptability. But the misconceptions is, are they listening to me? Or from a driver's standpoint, are they, are they seeing what I'm doing? So we brought it in with the drivers. Forward facing was immediately accepted by the drivers. We have not had one driver that said, oh, I don't want that, I'm leaving. The, the company culture is extremely important in the success of this because if everyone doesn't buy into it or believe in it, then it's just a, a crash video. It's, it's not something that can be used for, for positive coaching, for changing driver behavior. And to have that buy-in from the top down all the way through the supervisors who are doing the coaching in the field, that's the most important part of this whole process. So what we do is we sit down with the driver and we show them the video. We say, here's what's going on, what do you think? Uh, more drivers, they're tougher on themselves. They'll say right away, I was falling too close there. Should have been over in this lane. Yeah, well, I gotta watch that area because I know that area well. It's amazing how much more they pick apart on it than even we do. So as we start coaching our drivers, we'll be able to start to really get the benefit of reducing our claims, our injuries, our accidents over the next few years to become a better, safer fleet.